Hello, my name is Cheryl Ponchin. I would like to welcome you to the Tug 2020 Beginner's Law Tech Workshop. I will be conducting this workshop with Sue DeMary. Right now, I'd like to show you an overview of what we will be going over throughout the workshop. There are five main document classes. First one is article. The article class uses a one-side class option. That means the margins, headers, and footers are the same for odd and even pages. Figures, tables, equations, etc., are numbered continuously. There's a book document class. The book document class uses a two-sided class option. This means the margins, headers, and footers are different for odd and even pages. The figures, tables, and equations, etc., are numbered per chapter. There's a report class. The report class uses a little bit of both. It has a one-side class option and with the margins, headers, and footers the same for the odd and even pages as an article. However, the figures, tables, equations are numbered per chapter as in book. There's a letter class, which produces beautiful letters. And there's a slides class. Slides class is very good for using one-page slides. I'm using pausing, so I'm using the Beamer. There's a variety of page styles. Page style plain gives you an empty header, but puts your page numbers in the footer. Page style empty gives you both headers and footers with nothing in them. Page style headings shows a chapter name, page numbers on each head for a book and report style. Page style my headings lets you customize your headings by using a mark both command for the odd and even pages. There's a page style fancy, which uses a use package fancy header. This lets you customize your left center and right head or your left center and right foot. There's a default numbering system. The default numbering system is Arabic. You can change this by doing a renew command and telling it the section and then telling it what numbering system you wish. So in this sense, I'm using Roman. It will stay that way throughout your paper unless you change it to Arabic or a different numbering system. You can also change margins and spacing to fit your needs. So in this case, I'm showing you there's a top margin, text height, text width, and there's others. And a renew command, baseline stretch two, will give me a double spacing. The important thing is you need to put these in your preamble, which is anything above your begin document. There's many use packages for LaTeX. Some of the math ones are AMS fonts, AMS math, and AMS symbol. With these, you can really create some beautiful mathematics. There's also graphics packages and rotate and many others. But here I'm giving you a begin and end picture with put lines and a rotated word hello. You can also include graphics such as PNGs, JPEGs, BMP files. We'll also show you how to do some tables with tabular. And this is an output. So there's several ways for mathematics commands. So there's single dollar signs, which gives you inline text. There are double dollar signs or backslash open bracket, close bracket, which gives you a display along with other types of displaying mathematics. Another one is an environment of begin equation, end equation. So if you'll notice the first example has a number attached to it. The second example does not because there's an asterisk after the word equation. So in LaTeX, when you want something suspended as far as the numbering, you would put an asterisk. We'll show you how to itemize and enumerate. Itemize uses symbols, enumerate uses numbers. So if you have, um, would like to label and reference, then you wanna use the enumerate so you can label it and reference it as I've done in this slide. We'll be showing you how to construct theorems. So in this sense, you need an AMS theorem package. You need to create the theorem. Then you use the environment of it, begin theorem, end theorem. I'm also showing you a proof, which comes with a proof box automatically at the end. We'll be showing you two types of way to do bibliographies. One is in the paper with a begin the bibliography and the bibliography, and the other will be with BibTech. They both get cited the same way with backslash cite. However, for bibliography, there's a style, which plain is one of them, and then the bibliography is your .bib file is attached 
as a database file, which calls in your references. So the style files for bibliography is plain, which gives you Arabic numbers, unsort, which gives you Arabic numbers, alpha gives you the first initial of each author and year, ABBRV gives you Arabic numbers, but in your output, it gives you the first initial of the author's name. Also be showing you how to do a make index so you can add an index to the end of your paper. I hope you've enjoyed this overview and that you will join us for our workshop. Thank you.